house followers today we're going to be making some um, rainbow earrings out of Sculpey so I got a couple clays here I'm working with a couple different blues um, and a white as you can see I've already used these guys they can go a long way depending on what you're making so I'm just gonna go ahead and take about a half a row of each color here the best I can no nope, not an exact science alrighty so one thing I'd like to point out I did put my wax paper below just so I'm not picking up if there's any dirt on my surface behind me along with I can go ahead and use this wax paper to just go ahead and pop the Sculpey into the oven so let's get started. I like to work with um, my lighter color, color clay first. And I just kind of start in my hands. Especially if you're using anything with a white. Um, if you got like blue on your hands, it's gonna mix in there pretty easily. So, all right. And I'm just gonna, just like when you're in grade school, you're gonna roll this out like they call the snake. <laughs> You just want to get it nice and even. And you're going to do this with all three colors. Okay. Again, if you get any spots that get too thin, you can easily fold it over on top of each other and just roll that out. Um, or if you just don't like the way the whole thing looks, you can also fold it all into each other and just re-roll it. Okay, so I got the one color. Now I'm going to do that lighter blue. Okay. Oops. So I do have my wax paper taped down so it's not moving around too much on me. Um, just for those at home watching this. This is probably the most simple clay earring you can do. It's so easy. But yet it's so trendy, right? That oblong rainbow I see everywhere. Okay, just almost done with this one. And again, you want to make sure that you're keeping it as wide um, as your first one that you roll up. Because you want to want to have one part of your rainbow be super thick and then the other one be really small. So keep that in mind. Okay. So I'm just going to roll, 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 roll. And that looks about the same as all the other ones. Okay. Okay, now that those are all rolled out, I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to cut these all in half. So I got my nice little tools from um, in the Sculpey section. And I'm just going to, this one has like a little knife, and I'm just going to cut right down on it. Okay. And those are going to be the inside color on my earrings here. And then again, just gonna cut in half. And then I'm gonna cut the next color in half. So our last. You could easily do more colors. I've done these with, you know, the whole color, the whole Roy G. Biv family. Um, I've done all nude colors really just comes down to preference okay so i'm going to move these guys up so i suggest 
kind of slightly budging them up against each other. I don't like to squish them like this because I find that I get a little bit more flat side. Um, I do a little bit, but I kind of basically roll it on top of the other one. That is what has worked best for me. I know there's so many different techniques um, and I'm not here to shoot any of those down. Okay. Let's see. Now, what I'd like to do from here is this is when I start to make the curve of the rainbow. Best thing with Sculpey, you don't have to feel bad if it's, things aren't perfect. You can also, if I was to get any, um, let's say like I got a little nick here, I can just smooth it out with my finger. Sometimes my fingernails will get caught on things. So you can just go ahead and smooth it out with your fingernails or your finger. Okay. Now I'm going to wait to cut this. Um, I want to see where my other rainbow is going to lay and make sure that I'm cutting them equally. those first two connected first. Okay, and then we're gonna come in with that third color. Okay, and then, oops, don't quite have that connected. Then I'm going to go ahead and form that rainbow shape. I find it best to kind of hold in one spot and then move the ends of your clay. Make sure they got the both kind of the same rainbow shape. They might not be identical, right? Okay. Just gonna smooth out some of my rough marks on here. I actually got a little speck of, I'm guessing something off my wax paper. Okay. Nice and smooth. Making sure this is nicely attached to the other colors. Don't want it coming apart. Okay, so from here, looks like I got very similar arch. Um, that's something to look at. Kind of have a guide. I'm using my finger. So it's covering about the same amount of the finger on both of these. And then all I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead. Now you could take a measuring tape or you could um, just eyeball it. So I'm going to come down and just do a nice clean cut. Nice clean cut. Now if you don't like the ends to be so clean, um, you could just kind of round them out with your fingers. I kind of like them a little bit round out. Um, that's just a preference. But I just like to smooth out my edges. So you guys can see the difference there. One is more smooth and then one's going to just have that crisp cut. I like to round out the edges of these with my finger because I think it kind of goes with the um, outside and the rest of the rainbow. Okay. Doo -doo -doo.
Okay. Now from this part, I'm going to use one of my other tools and I'm going to use this tip to go ahead and stab into the top so that I have a spot for my jump rings to come in. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to make it as center as I can and I'm just going to go right in there. It mainly goes into your top color. Depending on how wide you make your um, rings of color will also determine where if your um, hole goes into the next color clay. Okay, so I like that size. And now I'm going to come in and do the same thing on the other. Okay. Again, keeping in mind how thick your jump rings are and how much room they're going to need, um, you will have to adjust your hole size accordingly. And now, now we are ready to go ahead and pop these guys into the oven. I do have enough um, of other colors. I could go ahead and form these into a rainbow as well. I'm just going to go ahead and pop these into the oven. So you should have your oven at 270 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so please just make sure you're reading whatever clay you're working with. And then it also says 15 minutes. It is going to de depend on um, how thick your clay is. So this the 15 minutes is for a 1 4th inch um, or 6 millimeter. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Now these guys, these guys have cooked for um, about 15 minutes. I did go a little bit over because I did not hear my timer, but they're ready. And I let them cool down. So now I'm gonna go ahead and come in with my jump rings. So I do have two pliers because it's a little bit easier to open these. And I'm just gonna go ahead and loop it right in through the hole. And then it depends um, how you want your earrings to lay. I am gonna go ahead and put another loop uh, jump ring on here and I'm gonna close this one up and then we'll add the ear wire. Okay. So let's go ahead and get that ear wire attached. And then you'll repeat for the next one. Sorry, I got this jump ring open. Just going to slide it in. And I have my earpiece and jump ring ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it. and close it on up. And we're good to go. You got a cute set of home, homemade clay earrings. And we love it that it's that little trendy oblong rainbow. All right, you guys, thank you for joining and happy crafting. Mm -hmm.